So if you've heard about a game called Deadlock and you want the best settings for that game, then watch this video. We're going to go over the best launch options so you get the best possible FPS and remove the 240 FPS cap limit that they've added in the new update and the best in-game settings so you get that maximum frame rate and be able to hit those shots way better. So let's get right into it. So first things first, we're going to go over the Steam settings that I always do in every video. So you're going to go to Steam on top left, click settings, go to friends and chat and turn off enable animated avatars right here. You're going to go to interface and turn off everything from run when my computer starts all the way down to enable hardware video decoding then go to library turn on these first three settings downloads go there scroll down to the bottom and turn on allow background process of vulcan shaders go to in-game and just make sure that in-game steam overlay is turned off right click on your game click properties launch options go to the description of this video copy the launch options that i have pasted in there paste them in the here and then just launch deadlock and we'll go over the best in-game settings in there so once we're in deadlock i'm going to do press ok go to settings on the bottom left go to video for the resolution make sure you're using a custom resolution and then just set the resolution to the maximum and then window mode to full screen and then make sure under here that your renderer is set to DirectX 11 some of you that are on AMD or Intel Arc GPUs you could test out Vulkan see if that plays better but for most of us that are on Nvidia DX 11 is going to be the best one reduce flashing effects that's just personal preference but I would turn this on because it does give you a competitive advantage then upscaling technology make sure this is set to FSR TAA and then make sure the scaling mode is set to balanced and then everything else down here is set to off or low and uncheck everything here except MBOIT and then maximum frames per second allowed set this to the maximum and then we're going to also go over the extended values using the launch option and you could just paste whatever so let's just say you have a 360 hertz monitor you can use this launch option to cap at 360 FPS which won't let you in the menu right here so that's the best in-game settings so now you can just load up a game and then make sure that everything that you're doing is actually improving your gameplay and actually improving your fps so we'll hop in game and see how the performance is looking like all right so once you're in game as you can see we're getting about 240 fps basically the maximum fps that we could get and i'm using a third party frame analyzer but as you can see our one percent lows are hovering around 170 150 somewhere around there and yeah i mean we're just capped at 240 so now we're going to use the launch option and make sure that we are getting the maximum possible fps FPS on this machine and we're just going to uncap the FPS completely. So let's do that in the Steam settings right now. So using the command that they provided in the in-game settings, if you hover over the FPS cap, it'll tell you to use this command right here, plus FPS underscore max, and then you can just type whatever number you want for the FPS. So I typed in 360. So now we're going to launch the game again and then just make sure that command applies and actually sets the game to 360 FPS. So let's do that. All right, guys. So now we're loading up back in our game. So yeah, as you can see, the frame cap did work we're getting about 280 260 fps 320 so we're not hard capping 360 but this game is a weird game that i don't think they've optimized it really well yet so it is a, a update in progress i mean i have the best computer that you could possibly imagine and every other game runs fine uh it's just this game does get a little bit lower fps which don't be alarmed that if your high-end com gaming computer is just not handling this you are going to get lower fps than usual i've had a 4090 pc and i was getting the same exact fps as this and it wasn't really anything to do with the computer itself because every other game ran fine so this game again guys just keep in mind that it is a in development game so it's not finished yet but yeah, just make sure not to basically cap your fps in game or go to the video section in game because it will it will set it back to 240 so make sure not to go to the video section in game after you uncap your fps with the launch option and if you do just restart the game and you just pretty much get that fixed up but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys increased a little bit of your deadlock performance if this video helped you make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications and make sure to drop down below the results that you've had after this video and if this helped you especially the launch options i have not seen those covered on any other deadlock video so but anyways if you guys are still watching and you are interested in a full pc optimization service where i go through ram overclocking cpu overclocking gpu overclocking and then optimizing your, all of your bios settings and all of your windows a through z then go to the link in the description and book a pc optimization service i've worked with top professional players in games and i've also worked with content creators so if you are interested go to the link in the description and book an appointment but that's gonna be pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed peace out